Hello. 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 Sure. Hello, hello. Hello, my dear students. How are you? I am very good. I am very happy to see you once again. Hello, hello. teacher. Hello. Are you still in Guatemala? Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Enjoy it. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Mm. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. That is the best part of everything. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going to connect my computer. If not, it's going to die in the middle of the class. Just give okay. me one second. I'll be back in a second. So tell me, how are you? Tell your friends how you are. You don't say anything or you keep silent when I enter. What happens? Were you chambering there before I enter? Estaban chambreando antes de que yo entrara. Y hoy de repente ya no. Ajá, Jairo. What were you talking about? Okay, what movie are you watching? Uh, it's a TV show. Oh, what is it? The Ley, La Ley y el Orden. Hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Very good, definitely. I love all these ones and I love all the CSI, CSI New York, Miami, CSI, all the CSIs. They are very good. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay. Well, welcome to our class number 14. We are going to have a fantastic class. I hope everything that we're going to study today is going to be clear today. We are going to go over the final unit of our module. And on the next class, that it's um, not tomorrow because tomorrow you have vacation on Thursday. The class on Thursday, we are going to cover the exams. We are going to finish all the exams in the platform to check that everything is ready. And on Monday, that it's the final class, you are going to have a presentation. Oh, you are going to have a presentation as the final evaluation. Okay, vamos a tener presentaciones el día lunes. Eso examen final, su evaluación final. Todos ahí, afligidos. ¿De qué van a hacer sus presentaciones? Se los explico en español para que nadie me diga, teacher, es que yo no entendí esa parte. O no me, no me fijé en esa parte. Ok, la presentación es acerca de el aprendizaje que tuvimos en todo este módulo. Ok, los diferentes temas que estudiamos, los diferen las diferentes cosas que vimos y cuáles de las cosas para usted fueron más significativas, de más aprendizaje y en cuáles quiere ahondar mucho más. Ok, y la última cosa que tienen que cubrir en su presentación, cuáles son sus expectativas para el siguiente módulo. Ok. Entonces, en la clase del día lunes, el día de sus presentaciones, no es necesario que traigan PowerPoint o, bueno, si ustedes lo quieren hacer, perfecto. ¿verdad? No es necesario que traigan cartulina, no va a decir, mamá, necesito una cartulina para el lunes, vea. <ríe> Tengo examen con la teach. No, si la quieren hacer, háganla, pues yo no estoy en contra de nada. De los uh, pops y the prompts, it's okay, you can use it. Eh, el aprendizaje del módulo, eh, los diferentes temas que vimos, qué fue lo más significativo, qué es algo en lo que quieran ahondar mucho más y cuáles son sus expectativas para el módulo siguiente. ¿Okay? Todos van a tener alrededor de dos minutos para presentar, así que eh, vamos a ir ahí random. El que vaya terminando la presentación va a ir escogiendo quién sigue, así que no va a estar en mí la culpa, sino que en el que presente. El que presente va a elegir el siguiente. Así que 
no van a decir, uy, la teacher a mí me eligió primero, qué mala onda. El primero lo vamos a elegir random, con una ruleta. Y de ahí para allá, ustedes se van a elegir eh, entre ustedes. Eh, ¿Preguntas, dudas, comentarios? I have, a, uh -huh. I, have a, I have a question, teacher. Go ahead. The quiz is like a conversation? No, it's a presentation. It's a, a presentation. presentation. You are going to say, well, hello, my dear classmates. I am going to talk about uh, the experience on this module. I really like it. I think my favorite part of this module was the module about food because I didn't know many of the vocabulary and I had the opportunity to know more vocabulary and I really like it. One thing that I want to work more for the next module is more grammar. I know that we did many exercises on grammar on this module, but I really want to continue practicing more. Something important from this experience that we had is that we learned together. We learned as a group, right? We helped each other. I really liked the class, the experience and everything. And I really like that I had the opportunity to see all the cameras of my friends, right? Uh, presenting. And <laughs> because I am only here with the camera, I feel kind of alone. <laughs> so uh, what do I expect for the next module? I expect to have a really good teacher as the one that I have right? I expect to have a lot of fun, a lot of learning, and a lot of vocabulary for the next module. Okay, so thank you very much. That was my presentation. Clap, 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 reactions, and everything. Okay? It's okay. That's the example. Y viendo el video como 15 veces para copiar el speech. Okay, so uh, that's the presentation, and that's it, and then I will say, okay, and now Beatriz is going to present and Beatriz is going to start. And then Beatriz chooses another one and another one and on and on. And we're going to finish like that, okay? Any other question? Thank you, Roberto, for your question. Any other one? Uh -huh. Any other question, my dear students? No. Yes. Eh, yo acabo de entrar. ¿Será que puede explicar de nuevo, por favor, please? Okay. Eh, igual recuerden que todas nuestras clases están en nuestra playlist de YouTube. Nos pueden volver a ver ahí todas las veces que quieran. Eh, Dora Alicia, eh, la idea es de que el día lunes, bueno, mañana no tenemos clase. El jueves vamos a hacer una recapitulación de todos los exámenes que nos faltan en la plataforma para que toda la plataforma quede completada el día jueves. Así que traten de terminarla para el jueves para que solo corroboremos todo y que ustedes vean que todo está listo y terminado. El día lunes tenemos una presentación. ¿Qué es lo que tiene que contener la presentación, mis queridos estudiantes que ya estaban aquí antes? Uh -huh. Los temas que hemos aprendido, uh -huh. lo más relevante que, en, que hemos encontrado, uh -huh. cuáles son nuestras expectativas para el siguiente módulo, Exacto. lo que más nos ha gustado podría ser. Exacto. No es necesario presentar PowerPoint, cartulina, escenificación. Algún así. drama, alguna vestimenta, nada. O sea, nada que tienen que venir en saco y corbata. Claro que sí. No, por los derechos de autor no me dejan. <risa> No lo puedo subir a YouTube después. Entonces, así, eh, Dora Alicia, esa es la presentación que tenemos el día lunes, ¿ok? Esa va a ser un pequeño, un pequeño oral evaluation. ¿Qué va a pasar? De repente ustedes me van a ver que voy a estar copiando, ¿sí? Anotando un montón de cosas. No se sientan mal si me ven que estoy anotando. No todo lo que se anote es malo, ¿ok? Pero al final de todas las presentaciones... Yo les voy a hacer un feedback, ¿ok? Recuerden que en oraciones así no se ocupa esta frase, en oraciones aquí la pronunciación es esta, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer un feedback general de todas las presentaciones, ¿ok? Ahí cada quien identifique el error. Ahí digan, ah, sí, eso lo dije yo. <risa> así ah, eso es mío. <risa> Ahí también es mío. Ahí se otro también. 
ok, ahí se van identificando los errores, ok, so, okay. Ese, fue, ese fue el servicio parroquial del día de hoy, let's go with the class, <laughs> thank you for the servicios parroquiales, that's like in the church, they say we have some announcements, and then they start with the, with the announcements from the church, so I did the same today, esos fueron los anuncios parroquiales de la clase. I sent you um, a document. I sent you a document today containing the, um, let me see, the, all the list of sports. Did you get it? Yes, no? Did you get the document about the sports? Okay. Yes, my dear students. Did you check the I document? Yeah. document? You downloaded the document. That's pretty awesome. Well, the document was mainly about sports, right? It was it contained all the list of sports that I showed you yesterday, and for sure, uh, the ones that we are going to use for today's class. Right, that is the one that we're going to use for today. So I hope that you can have it there uh, next to you because you are going to use it for the class because we're going to use the vocabulary. Let me see, I am going to share my screen for you to be able to see the presentation. Today is our class number 14 and sports and abilities, right? We're going to, to cover these two topics, sports and abilities. And yesterday we were talking a little bit about abilities too, right? Remember the class agreements, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need, keep your cameras on all the time so I can be sure that you are here, that you are present and that you are participating. Attend your session on time. Thank you for the ones who are here. I am going to send a message to the ones that are not here yet to see where they are because they should be present. And let's see. Okay, I sent you a message in the chat for the ones that are not here. So uh, participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. So please right now I need you to go to WhatsApp and I need you to send your friends a message and tell them, hey, people, we're here, we're connected, we're connected, right? Send a message to your friends on WhatsApp and tell them, hey, we're here and you are not here, what are you, okay? I send you the first one, okay? Ya les envié el primero, envíenle ustedes un mensaje a los demás. Hey, ¿dónde están? Los estamos esperando, los extrañamos, ¿dónde están? <laughs> Se preocupa, ¿se gustó? <laughs> ¿Cómo? <laughs> okay. Excellent. Let's see. Gustavo, are you here? Ah, he, yes, here you are. Thank you, Gustavo. Thank you very much. I love that, that uh, sticker. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. <laughs> nice stickers. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about what? What was the main topic from yesterday? Different kind of, of sports. Different kind of sports, uh-huh. But what else? What else did we talk about? We talk abilities. about uh, abilities, good. Abilities, sports. Mm -hmm. And what was the final topic for the unit of food? Do you remember? Adverbs of? Of them. Uh-huh. Yeah, but what is the name of those frequency. adverbs? Adverbs frequency. of frequency. Adverbs of frequency, right? We have adverbs of frequency. And yesterday I was explaining something to the other class that I didn't explain to you. And I said like, ah, I missed this one with the other class. We have adverbs of definite. Okay, we have definitive frequency. In adverbs of indefinite 
frequency. What is the difference? That in this case, when you have, for example, adverbs of definite frequency, we have words like, let's see, let me move this one here. Okay, here. I am going to go here. Adverbs of definite frequency, we have, for example, every day, a specific frequency. You have every Saturday, right? You can have, for example, um, every month, every month, at night. No, in this case, it will say like every Saturday, every day, every month. Why? Because you say, I, if you use the ones of indefinite frequency, you say, I always clean my house, you say. But if you want to be very specific, you say, I clean my house every day. Every day goes at the end of the sentence, right? The adverbs of definite frequency goes at the end of the sentence. The adverbs of indefinite frequency go after the subject, right? Like always, often, sometimes, uh, almost always, hardly ever, right? Those types of adverbs go after the subject. Let me find more examples. Let's see, of the definite frequency. And here I have, okay, I have, for example, uh, they can go at the beginning of the sentence or they can go at the end of the sentence. So I can say every day I clean my house or I clean my house every day. Right? You have this type of, of adverbs. And I didn't explain that one yesterday because I, I just missed it. And you can have words like, for example, daily, yearly, yearly, mm -hmm. annually, right? Those are other adverbs of definite frequency. And you can say, uh, for example, Teacher. yes? Sorry. Yes, uh, yes. Ahora, daily is diariamente? Yes. I can say, for example, Roberto goes running daily. Okay. Right. Every day. Or you can say, eh, Juanito goes running yearly. So once a year, he goes running. So eh, it's the case. The adverbs of definite frequency go at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. So that is something eh, important that I didn't mention yesterday. You can say, for example, once a year once a month, right? Or once a day, once a day. Those are examples of adverbs of definite frequency. They can go at the beginning or at the end. And others like, for example, always, often, uh, sometimes they go as we started on the sentences after the subject, okay? So here I can say, I um, study every day, or you can say, I always study, okay? So those are the two forms that you can use, the adverbs of definite frequency and the adverbs of indefinite frequency. Estos tenemos un conocimiento que son específicos en algún momento. Cada sábado, cada mes, a diario, una vez al año, una vez al mes, una vez al día. But this one say often. No sabemos cuánto es often. Solo sabemos un porcentaje de eso. And you can say, I often uh, visit, I often visit my friends. And that's a sentence. But if I say here, every Saturday, coma, I visit my friends, period. And here I have to change the letter because it's the beginning of the sentence. So that's something that I wanted to clarify just for you to have a little bit more knowledge.
about the topic, ok? Creo que era algo que quería que ustedes también conocieran para que no se quedaran con ese vacío de conocimiento. Ok, so that was something extra that I wanted to add. And visit my friend. So you say, I often. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I erase it, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I often visit my friends. And that was the example, the period, okay? Is it clear how to use the, two, the two of them? Yes, tell me. Y la palabra yearly? Uh -huh. Yearly is, means? it's the same of annually. Oh, okay. It's the same. Once yeah. a year. Year. Cada Once a year. Año. Yeah, every year. Uh, the the yeah. year ones. Monthly. We celebrate, yeah. we celebrate Christmas yearly, right? Year. Okay. Every year. And annually, it's like annualmente. Once a year, it's una vez al año. So. Okay, thanks. That's the idea of the adverse of definite frequency and indefinite frequency, okay? Ya me queda en paz el alma que les explique el tema. Yesterday I was, so I was sleeping and I said like, hey, I forgot it, I forgot it. But then I woke up and I explained it to you. Good. So let me erase my, okay, my notes. And here we go with the sports and abilities. Yesterday we were talking about this. You were telling me what were the different sports that you like, that you practice, that were, that you were best at, right? And what your best ability was. You were discussing this with your friends. Now, according to the list of sports that I sent you, I am going to ask you, what sports do you consider dangerous? What sports do you consider easy? What sports do you consider difficult? And what sports do you consider boring and for sure what sports do you consider interesting so if you can mention from the list of sports that i send you what sports do you consider dangerous uh, surf okay surf good what about the rest i think Maybe. it's mm -hmm. Box, right long. Boxing. Mm. Boxing. Sí, box A M M. Uh huh. What else? What other sport do you consider dangerous? A M M. Jumping. Oh yeah, yes, for sure. That's the. I mean, that's really dangerous because you can end up dying. <laughs> okay. What other sport? The climbing you were mentioning okay climbing is dangerous if you fall down bye bye ah, I say okay. <laughs> yeah Psh, climbing any other sport that you consider dangerous car racing car racing yeah we have a very good example here in El Salvador any other one do you consider golf dangerous Motocross. Motocross, yes. Motocross is dangerous. What else? Boxing. Boxing, for sure, right? <laughs> you can end up dead. <laughs> karate. Do you consider karate dangerous? What sports do you consider easy? Ah, that you say, yeah, that's easy. Running. Running, running. Nah. depending. Ping pong. Okay, Jairo was mentioning A M N. What is that one, Jairo? I sent you the, the list, but which one is for you to help me? Running. Yeah, running. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, you see, because you you run every day. Oh. That's why it's it's. As marathon. Oh, you run a marathon? How many kilometers? No, easy. No, it's not easy at all. How many kilometers did you run? 21. 21 kilometers. Oof. Half marathon. Half a marathon, Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, difficult, difficult. 
It's difficult, definitely, because if you don't have the and resistance. Yeah, and dangerous. Um, like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's very, I think it's it's kind of challenging as well. I think that can be another verb, challenging, because you have to prepare a lot, right? You are not going to run a marathon after eating junk food just the whole year. It's challenging. Which sports do you consider difficult? Which sports do you consider difficult? Difficult. Kayaking. Mm -hmm. Kayaking. Ice, ice hockey. Ice hockey. It is the. I think it, it has. It has been the 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 most. Uh, how can I say? A stressing experience to put ice hockey skates because you think you see people on the ice right and you say like that's very easy right yeah me los pongo yo to the floor <laughs> it's very challenging tell me what other sport do you consider difficult teacher yes um, patinaje is Taking, skating, taking, skating, skating, skating. Yes, yes, it is very difficult. And also, as uh, well as snowboarding, says Jairo. Skateboarding. Mm -hmm. Have you cool. ever have you ever tried to step on a skate? ¿Han intentado alguna vez en su vida pararse en una patineta? Bye bye. <laughs> Bye bye. Which sports do you consider boring? That is like, I know, oh, come on. Which sports do you consider boring? Paratrooper. Which one? Eh, paracaidista. Para ah, para, para shooting. Para shooting. Para question. What sports do you consider boring? How do you write parachuting like this? Parachuting. Do you consider it boring? It's like me. No one. <laughs> That's like okay. <laughs> no. No. Imagine all the adrenaline just to jump from the from the plane. No. I think it's it's a, it's exciting. Which one? Ajedrez. Chess. The bungee. Uh, bungee jumping. Boring. Aburrido. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> bungee jumping. Ah! That's not boring. I think that's exciting. Golf is boring, says Jairo. Golf is boring. Hey, imagine golf. Click. Tennis. Tennis. Yeah, tennis is, well, tennis is kind of challenging because you, you need to know the strategy, right? You need to know the strategy, how to move and everything. Which sports do you consider interesting? The ones that you say, hey, I want to try that one someday. Which ones do you consider interesting? Uno que ustedes quisieran intentar? Surfing, good. Surfing. Another one. Mountain biking. Mountain biking. That's a challenge for me because I cannot ride a bike. Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. a, the first problem. The first uh, mountain biking. When you go in a bicycle in a mountain, mm -hmm. it will be difficult because I cannot ride a bike. ¿Quién más no puede montar bici aquí? Solo yo. Okay, so that, that would be challenging for me. Another sport that you consider interesting? Swim. Swimming. Good. Swimming. Karate. Uh, karate, right? Polo, says Jairo. Good. Polo. I think polo, it's, it's kind of interesting. You have to control the horse, the movements and everything. So that, that's very yeah. good. Wait, which one? Ajedrez. Chess. 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 Good. That's interesting. Yes, you have to know the movements, where to place every single piece of the chess, 
So I think it's 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 quite challenging as well. And let me see. Talking about sports, we have different definitions. Okay, let me just move here of words that we use. We use for sports. We use play, go, and do. You don't say I play sailing or I I play uh, skating. I play surfing. No. You use a specific words with this ones. For example, play, you use it with uh, activities that use a ball, board games, or musical instruments. That's when you use play. You use go for activities that finish with ing. You say, I like to go sailing, I like to go riding, I like to go skiing, surfing, swimming, diving, diving, right? Bucear. And do are with activities that do not use a ball or that do not end with ing. So football, you use a ball, right? Basketball, you use a ball. Volleyball, you use a ball. Tennis, you use a ball. Rugby, you use a ball like the American football. Hockey, you don't use a ball but you use a disc and it is a game right you can also use play with the guitar poker golf cards chess and dominoes and you can play computer games right you can play basketball you can play the violin or you can play the drums that is when you use play right with this type of complements go you are going to use it with all the ones that end in ing but boxing is an exception because you say do. I like to do boxing, right? I like to practice boxing. All the ones that you use with do, you can also say practice, say, I like to practice athletics. I like to practice gymnastics. I like to practice judo, karate, kung fu, yoga, ballet, aerobics, Zumba. Do you like to do Zumba? No agarrar, okay? Do, I said do. It's like a dance. <laughs> it's a I dance, like. right? Okay, no, no, agarrar zumba, no. Do zumba. Okay. Samba zumba. So, <laughs> the, two <laughs> the two options are correct. Like, be careful with agarrar zumba and dance zumba, right? <laughs> La teacher le dijo zumba by drinks, they say. <laughs> I don't, come on. Okay, you can uh, do crossword puzzles or practice sodokus. Do you like Sudokus? Sudokus, sorry. Yes, I like. Yeah. Yeah, they are very interesting. So that's the different forms. You don't say mm -hmm. play swimming, no, right? Or do swimming. It's not possible. All the ones with ing, you use go. You say I enjoy uh, going swimming. I like to go swimming, right? And I do gymnastics in the morning. You don't say I go gymnastics in the morning. No. I do or I practice gymnastics in the morning. I, I do yoga, you say, like Abdiel, I think it's the one who does yoga here. You say, I do yoga or I practice yoga. That's the way we use it in the different sentences. So if I tell you, for example, dancing, play, go or do? Dancing. Go. Go. Okay, go. If I said karate, play, go, or do? Karate. Okay. Karate. Wow, yeah, ha, ha. Oh, do. Do. Yeah. Soccer. Play. 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 Good. Uh, let's see. Ballet. Do. 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 Skiing. Go. 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 Volleyball. Go. Play. Volleyball. Play. Play. Oh, play, perdón. Okay. Quemados. Play. Play, right? Do you know what quemados is? No. It's a, it's a game that you play with balls. Oh. Just throw the ball to a person. <laughs> and you have to hit the person with the ball. If not, you have to go and run for the ball again. 
It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Challenging. Okay. Bungee jumping. Play, go, or do. Play. Bungee jumping. Go. Go, go, go. right? I-N-G, right? That's, that's the way you use it. Tell me one sport that you like. You say, I like to play, I like to go, or I like to do. Give me one sentence. And let's go first with Ana Beatriz. Give me your sentence. I go dancing. I go dancing. Good. Vanessa. I play tennis. Good. Let's see. Abdiel. I do yoga. I do yoga. Roberto. I do. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I do what? I do Kung Fu. Kung Fu, good. <laughs> Dora Alicia. I play cards. Good. Jari. I like to play softball. I like to play softball. Hiro. If not, send it on the chat if you have problems with the audio. Elmer. I like to play basketball. Excellent. Gustavo. I play golf. Moises. Um, I play piano and guitar. I play the piano and the guitar. Good. Carlos Ernesto. I like to uh, play video games. I like to play video games. Yolanda. I do a Sudoku. I do a Sudoku. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent job with the sentences. So remember that you say, I like to. I like to. Remember, I like to play. I like to go. I like to do. Okay. Or you can use it with love. Say, I love to. Siempre después the want, the love, the like, va to. Excellent. Let's continue with the next one. Here, it says, I love sports. I need two volunteers for the conversation. Only two. Go ahead. Okay, Gustavo and Vanessa. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Justin, what do you what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. You're a really good athlete. 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 Sorry. When do you play? When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto and Ana Beatriz, go ahead. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good at it. When do you play uh, this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just uh, watch them on television. Okay, very good job. Excellent, excellent participations. Fantastic. Now, in the grammar that we have, here we have a question. What do you do in your free time? I know that we don't have a lot of free time, but what is that activity that you love to do in your free time? That it's not sleeping, okay? Don't tell me sleeping because no, that's an activity. I know I, we love to sleep, but what do you do in your free time? Watch TV, watch movies, watch series, dance, I don't know, uh, create origamis. What do you do in your free time? 
Anybody can answer. Open your microphone and tell me. What do you do in your free time? Uh -huh. I love watch series. I love to watch series. Good. Who else? Anybody can answer. What do you do in your free time? If not, we are going to jump the question. Moises, what do you do in your free time? Uh, I like uh, play piano all I, day. <laughs> I like to play piano. I like to play the piano. Good. Moises, ask the question to another person. Okay. Um, what do you do in your free time? Who? Um, Elmer Salaya. Okay. Elmer, what do you do in your free time? My free Elmer, time, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like watch television. I like to. I like to. I like to watch television, okay. specific uh, news. Ah, the news. Good. Very good. Elmer, ask the question to another person. Okay, uh, Carlos Ernesto, what do you do in your free time? In my free time, uh -huh. um, I study. I, time. <laughs> I study, okay, good. Ask the question to another person. Okay, Abdiel, what do you do in the free time? Um, in my free free time, um, listen music. I like to listen. I like I learn, I like to listen to, to listen, listen to no. the music. I like to listen to listen music. Music. Good. Abdiel, ask the question to another person. No ha pasado. Eh, Yari. Yari. What did you do in your free time? Yari. In my free time, I like what to watch documentaries. You like to watch documentaries. Good. Yari, ask the next it's question nice. to another person. This one. To another person, this question. I know. What do you do in your free time? Uh, okay, Jairo, what sports do you like? Uh huh. Ah, pero creo que Jairo no. Yeah, Jairo, I think it has problems with the with the microphone. Oh, okay. But, but Alicia. Roberto Caldero. Ah, Roberto, Roberto. Caldero. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry, Roberto. What sports do you like? I like to play soccer. I like to play soccer. Good, very good. Roberto, ask the question to another person. Another person, let me see. Vanessa? I no? like sport running. I like running, say. I like running. Good. I like running. Good, very good. You don't say, I like sport running. You say, I like running, just like that. Good. So here, as we have in the conversation, we have a specific questions. WH questions for you to find information about sports. And you have to be very curious. And in order to be very curious, we have to ask a lot of questions. And it says, what sports do you play? If you want to go deep in the information, you say, who do you play with? Okay. Con quien lo jugas? Right. Where do you play? The place. Right. How often do you practice? What is how often? Con que frecuencia? Exactly. The frequency. When do you practice? When? Cuando. Cuando. What days? Right. And what time do you start? 
a specific time. If I ask you, let's say, Roberto, you told me that you play soccer, right? Yeah, right. Who do you play soccer with? Uh, I play soccer with my with my customers. With my co-workers, okay. Where do you play? Uh, we play in Futeca. Okay, how often do you practice? Two times a week. When do you practice? Ah, when? The specific Sometimes days. I practice Sundays in the afternoon. Good, and what time do you practice? Exactly in the afternoon. Okay, very good job. Let's see, we have Vanessa. You like running, right? Who do you go? Who do you go running with? Who do you go running with? Along. Along. Okay. Where do you go running? Where? We play in the park. No, you say we go because I am asking we you. Go. Where do you go running? We go. We go in the park. To. To park. To the park. We go to the park. How often, how often do you go running? We practice running um, in Sunday. On Sundays, so once a week, una vez a la semana. And what time, what time do you go running? We start at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock in the morning, very good. Elmer. What sports do you play? I play uh, football. Soccer or American soccer. football? Uh, soccer. Soccer. Who do you play soccer with? I play with my co-worker. Excellent. Where do you play? In the, I play, we play in Copefa. In Copefa, good. How often do you play? We practice once a month. Once a month. And what time do you play? Uh, we start at 7 a.m. 7 a.m., good, very good. Excellent answers. The last one, Gustavo, what sports do you play? I play soccer. Soccer. Who do you play soccer with? I play with my friends. Where do you play? I play at Copefa. <laughs> at Cope Everybody plays at Copefa. That's nice. How often do you play? Practice one. ¿Cómo diría vez por semana? Once a week. Once a week. We okay. practice once a week. And what time do you play? Uh, we start at 7 a.m. Excellent, very good job. So those are the type of questions that you can use in order to get more information. Remember that what, it's a specific general question. Who is when you want to look for a person. Where is for a place. How often, frequency. When is a specific day and what time is a specific time, right? And that's the way you use the questions, right? And you can get more information using this type of questions here. Can you ask me the questions? You say, teacher, and ask me the questions. What sport do you play? I play basketball. Who do you play basketball with? I play with my husband and my kid. Where do you play? Where do you play? I play in the garage.
The next question. How often do you practice? We practice uh, every, okay, we practice once a week. When do you practice? On Saturdays. And the last one. What time do you start? We start at 7 p.m. Okay, so that's the type of questions that you can use in order to get more information about sports. Good. So here, I have a short example. It says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. Do you usually watch soccer on Sunday's afternoon? What type of question are we missing here? How often do you usually? On Sunday's afternoons. Let's go here. To have a specific day on the answer, what type of question do you use? When? Uh -huh. So you say? When, here. When do you usually? When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday's afternoon. And it says, at home. Where? Where, right? Because you are looking and for? Where do you usually watch it at home right. no at my friend's house he has a really big television do you go bike riding oh about once a month what time mm, about once a month frequency how often how often right how often, how often? Do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. How do you go? Mm, what, what time? time? What time? Excellent. What time? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah? Do you usually go with? My sister. Who. who right because you who. have a person in the question who do you usually go with my sister come with us the next time okay so help me with the conversation i watch sports on television every weekend Everybody, really? go ahead. Really? What, what sport do you like, what do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. On Sunday's afternoon. And where do you usually watch at home? At home? No, at my friend's house. Oh. He has a really big television. How often do you buy riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go back. I love to go back every Sunday. I go every Sunday. Go every Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually, usually at about, at about, at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah? Who do you usually go with? My sister. My sister. Come with me Come us with next, time. next time. Come, Come with us next time. Repeat with me. Usually. 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 Once a month. Once, Once a month. month. Once Every month. weekend. Every, Every weekend. weekend. Bike riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Really? Bike riding. Really? Really? Usually. 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 Okay, good. Very good. Okay, before, because you say usually, but it's usually, usually. So, for these type of answers, what questions do I need? What sports do you like? It's the example. I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. If I tell you, I usually play with my sister and some friends. What is the question? Who played it with? Who do you usually play with? 
Fantastic. Who do you usually play with? We practice on Saturdays. What is the question? When do you practice? Excellent. When do you practice? We start at about noon. We what start time? exactly time. what time do you we start. start? And we usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where do you where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Fantastic job. Very good job, my dear students. The last thing that we're going to do here, talking about abilities. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. Oh, thanks. Well, uh, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why no? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Imagine if I tell you, hey, students, let's have a talent contest on Saturday. And you can tell me, I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? What are your abilities? ¿Qué habilidad presentarían en el show de talentos? Here it says, you can sing really well. I will sing in the talent contest. What will you do? Imagínense que les dicen mañana en su trabajo, bueno, hay show de talentos mañana, así que todos vengan listos. ¿Qué presentaría? Veamos, Vanessa. I think... <laughs> Vanessa, what will be your ability, your talent? Singer. Singing, singing. La, 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 la. Okay, singing. Ana Beatriz? To singer. Singing. Roberto? Uh, let me see. What will dancing. be? Dancing. <laughs> okay. Roberto will be dancing, good. Let's see, Jari. Dancing. Dancing with Roberto. <laughs> Yolanda. Sexy bachata. <laughs> I'm not talent. <laughs> no, but I mean, no hay de otra. You present a talent or you present? Singing. Singing, good. Abdiel. Posture. Posture. Yeah, heel stand. Okay, yoga postures. Excellent. Dora Alicia. Uh, uh, uh -huh. eh, algún postre, no sé cómo decir. That's Cooking. A... Cooking. Okay, cooking desserts, cooking desserts, good. Uh -huh. Okay, Jairo, send your answer on the chat. Elmer, what will be your talent? A uh, finance conference. A uh, uh, finance conference, okay, good. Moises? Uh, a song, a song, a classic song. A classic song, and Carlos Ernesto? Oh, Jairo says drama. Good, very good. Carlos Ernesto, what will be your talent? I sing. We will sing, <laughs> right? Okay, we're going, go to we're going to have a karaoke there <laughs> in the talent there show. Yeah, I think I will be like dancing or singing or something like that. Or I don't know, saying a trabalenguas or something similar. So uh, those are different talents. And believe it or not, Everybody has a talent. Even if you say like, pueden poner el dedo así. It's like, what? <laughs> That's a talent, right? I have a friend who can fold the ears. It's like, okay, it's very crazy. 
So that's a talent, something that makes you unique, something that makes you different from everybody. That's a talent and everybody has talents, right? In different forms. And to express the different talents, we have, oh, play capirucho. It's difficult to play capirucho, right? It's not for everybody. To express the different talents, you say, I can, right? I can. I can sing, I can dance, I can cook, right? What is the magic of using can? Can is for all the different forms of the subject. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, my mother, my sister, my father, all of them use can. The form of can, affirmative or negative, what is the difference? Can and can't. The sound at the end, say can, can't. Can you practice with me? Can, can, can't. Can. Okay, if I tell you, I can sing, but I can't dance. Okay, affirmative and negative. Can, can't, right? To make it clear. The normal verb, and you can use a complement. For example, if you can drive a car, that's an ability. I can drive a car. If you can ride a bike, that's a talent. It's an ability. I can't ride a bike, right? But I can drive a little bit, right? So those are abilities. If you want to make a question, you put can at the beginning, the subject and the verb. Can you dance? Can you sing? Can you cook? You can use it. And to make it negatives, you say, no, I can, no, she can't. Okay, no, I say no chicken. Okay, no, no, she can't. Okay, mejor despacio y con buena letra y bien pronunciado. No, she can't. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Okay, to make the specific pronunciation. So, if you are going to read this sentence, can you help me to read it? Not I, this one. Can you help me to read this sentence? I can sing. Uh -huh. I can sing. Make it negative. I can't. I can't. Can't. This one. I can act. Negative. I can act. The next one. I can dance. I can dance. Negative. I can. I can't dance. And the last one. I can swim. Swim. Negative. I can't. I can't swim. Okay. So. That's all for today, my dear students. I don't have more time to continue, but we're going hi, to- Hi, everyone. Hello, hi, everyone. Hi, Roberto. <laughs> so, hello and goodbye. <laughs> That's it, that sentence. Well, we are, we are going to finish with this topic and a little practice for the next class. And we are going to cover the evaluations goodbye. that we're missing, okay? So, have a beautiful night, my dear students. Practice the abilities and finish all the things in the platform. Remember, we don't have classes tomorrow, okay? I am okay. going to see you on Thursday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am going to see you on Thursday, okay? See you. Thank um. you. Bye-bye.